I'll try to keep this one short. I'm sorry my last video was long. Uh, in in general conference, the the seventies only get seven minutes. I'll try to keep my talk to the length that a seventy gets. The twelve apostles get fifteen, and and uh, the first presidency get anywhere from twenty to thirty minutes. I'll try not to do a first presidency talk. Uh, at least not every video. Anyway, um, I wanted to put this video out because, especially because of my last two, but other things that I've said on my blog and in my last two videos, um, I want I, I want to convey my feelings for Mormons and for Mormonism. Um, yes, I do believe that the Mormon Church is a cult, and I do believe that it is guilty of brainwashing. Um, but uh, I'm I'm not angry at the church. I'm not bitter toward the church. Uh, you know, many people think that I am. When I was talking to my mom the other day, uh, she she said, I know you're bitter toward the church. And I said, well, I'm not. I'm not bitter toward the church. The church didn't hurt me, yes. So I was brainwashed for a long time. Uh, and, and it took me a while to, um, you know, to get past this brainwashing. I think I'm still in the process. I don't think I'm fully recovered from the brainwashing. But... Uh, I like to be objective, objective in all things, and when I'm objective about the LDS Church, the LDS Church does good things. It does bad things, and it does good things. So it is not appropriate to say that it is a bad church, to say that it is an evil organization. It is only appropriate to say certain things that it does are bad or good. The LDS Church does donate time and money to humanitarian efforts. It does participate in uh, cleanup and recovery from natural disasters all over the world. It sends uh, food and clothing to places that need it. In underdeveloped countries it has some programs to uh, give prosthetics very cheap or even free to people that need prosthetic limbs. Um, there, there are many, many things that the church does that are good. And the church does teach its members to be kind and loving toward others. And in all of my experience, of nearly all of the Mormons that I know personally do this. They're, they are kind and loving toward the people that they know. I, I don't know any Mormons personally that I would say are bad people. I, I don't know any that are that go out of their way to be cruel toward others. I, I don't I don't know of any such people. Um, uh, there may be the, some out there. I don't know, but in my experience, most of the Mormons that I know are are very kind, loving, good people. My family uh, included. My my close Mormon friends, well, at least the Mormon friends that I considered close friends um, prior to the time that I left the church. I don't hear from them much anymore, but before then, they were good friends. Um, so, I, I don't want people to think that I'm saying everything from the LDS church is bad, and everything that they say and do and teach is evil. I, I don't want people to think that I'm saying that. Um, and I don't want people to think that. I, I, I think with just about any person and with just about any organization you're going to see them doing good things and you're going to see them doing bad things and you're going to see them saying things that are true. You're going to hear them saying things that are false. Uh, you're, going to, you're going to encounter good and bad in, in just about everything. And, uh, and I think the key is to remain objective and not to judge an entire, not to judge a person based on one act that they do and not to judge an organization based on uh, one practice that they have. Um, I, I do believe that acknowledging that Mormons, that the Mormon church engages in mind control is one reason to avoid 
affiliation with them. I do believe that you should be wary if you're thinking about joining, or if you are a member, you should go learn more about this church that you belong to. But I don't think that that you should... I, I don't want to encourage anybody to jump to conclusions, and I don't want to give the impression that I think that it is altogether horrible, that everything that they do is bad, and that I hate the church, or that I'm angry at the church. I, I don't have any personal feelings toward the church uh, of a negative nature. Uh, nobody mistreated me in the church. All of the brainwashing that was done was not done in a violent manner. I, I was never um, mistreated in any way. It was all just social pressure, social influence. My, my bishop was very respectful and very friendly toward me. Yes, he did take away my calling, and that hurt. It really did. I enjoyed my calling. I enjoyed being ward mission leader, which means I uh, coordinated the efforts of the missionaries in the area. And and I went out with the missionaries often, um, and I enjoyed it. And when he took my calling away, that hurt. But I, I'm not angry toward him, and he didn't do it out of spite, and there's no bitter feeling there. I know why he did it, and I respect him for doing what he did, because uh, in his mind he's merely upholding the standards of the church that he represents, and, and I think everybody should do that. Um, uphold your own standards. And so there's no bitter, angry, hard feelings there. Uh, I don't have hard feelings toward the missionaries. When I told the missionaries that I was gay, they instantly said, well, we can't go out with you anymore. We can't do these team ups. We can't. You can't come teaching with us. And yeah, that hurt too. But um, but again, uh, there there's no anger, no hatred. Um, I don't have a personal vendetta against the church. I don't say the things that I'm saying to try to defame the church. Uh, I'm the things that I share. I'm only sharing. Uh, because I sincerely believe that they're true, and I sincerely believe that it will help other people to learn uh, the things that I've learned about the LDS Church. And, and I think that everybody should question their own beliefs. Question what you think. Be skeptical. Have doubts. Question things, and look for answers for your questions. Um, and, and so that's that's basically all I have to say, is, yes, the LDS Church does good things, and Mormons do good things, and I don't, I don't want anybody to have the impression that, uh, that I'm hateful toward the Church or toward Mormons, that I'm bitter or angry. Um, all I'm trying to do is share what I have learned. And, and if something I say is false, let me know. And if you don't agree with my opinion, that's fine. You can have your own opinion. And that's the point of an opinion, is you can decide for yourself what you want to think and what you want to do. I'm, I'm not going to practice mind control and tell you that you must think this or you must believe this. Just think or believe what, what you want to think or believe. That's all for today.